Hi, my name is Sanga, Sanga Moses, and I'm from Uganda in Africa. My friends call me the guy who is in love with forests. Yes, I love forests. And the reason I love forests is because I believe forests can help us to slow down the effects of climate change. I believe that climate change is the biggest challenge of our time. And there are many causes of climate change, but one of the causes of climate change that people tend to ignore is deforestation. Actually, deforestation has been found to be responsible for 20% of global carbon emissions. Deforestation alone is responsible for 1.5 billion tons of CO2 emissions every year. And here is the most surprising bit. Most of this destruction, most of this deforestation happens in developing countries, in places like Africa, in places like Haiti, uh, Brazil, India, and China. This is where most of this deforestation takes place. And the leading cause of this deforestation is fuel scarcity and poverty. In Africa, where I come from, 80% of the population depends on wood for fuel. And we are talking about over 800 million people. And this has been going on for many, uh, for many decades. And the problem is this wood is, a, is harvested unsustainably. People keep cutting down trees, but no one cares to replant these forests. And because this has been going on for a long time and because the populations are increasing, now forests are getting finished, but people still need to eat and the population is increasing. In my own country, Uganda, 70% of our forests have been lost. And if nothing is done to slow down the current rate of deforestation, Africa will have no forests left by the year 2050. We cannot allow this to happen. Because deforestation has already caused many problems in, in places like Africa. Uh, now, families are struggling to find wood to cook with, and wood is becoming very expensive. And now kids have to drop out of school and walk for long distances, spend many hours in the field gathering wood. Actually, in 2009, I met my own sister carrying wood on a day she was supposed to be in school. And uh, because of uh, fuel scarcity, because it's, it has now become impossible to gather wood in my village, she had to miss school at least twice a week to walk for over 10 kilometers to help my family gather wood. And in my own country, Uganda, half a million kids are going through the same problem. So in 2009, I decided to do something about this problem. I quit my job. I am an accountant by training, and I used to work for one of the biggest banks in Uganda as an accountant. But after meeting my sister carrying wood, I decided to quit my job with $500 in savings and started a project called EcoFuel Africa. Now at EcoFuel Africa, we invented low-cost tailor-made technology that can be used to convert farm waste and municipal waste, things like uh, coffee husks, things like uh, sugarcane waste, into clean cooking fuel and organic fertilizers. And we list this technology to groups of women, to groups of youths, to individual micro-entrepreneurs, and help them to uh, launch clean energy micro-enterprises to meet local energy needs. Now, the biggest problem we have now is that the demand far exceeds our supply. And the problem is most of the communities that would potentially benefit from our technology lack the funds to afford our technology. So we need to find money to invest in them up front. And they only start paying us back when these projects start generating income. So we are trying to create a revolving fund that will enable us to reach more people, to train more micro-entrepreneurs, to empower more communities. And we think this way we shall be able to take out, uh, uh, our solution to scale faster. Uh, we have uh, interests from uh, all over sub-Saharan Africa. We have uh, people calling us from Haiti and saying, bring our technology here. But we need to find a way of uh, empowering these communities more sustainably to use our technology. And we decided that we are going to create a holistic solution. So we decided to invest part of our money, part of the proceeds we make from our project to replant trees. Uh, already forests have been depleted. In my country, I've already told you 70% of the forests are gone. So even if we slow down deforestation right now, it won't bring back the forest unless we participate in replanting these trees. So we invest part of the money we make to replant these trees, and we work with, uh, with schools, local schools. We, we, um, we motivate local communities and uh, give them tree seedlings and uh, motivate them to organize tree planting days. And uh, we supply the tree seedlings, and we give them some logistics like uh, 
water to drink after planting the trees. And uh, our target, our personal target, is to plant a quarter of a billion trees in the next 10 years. It's a huge target. I don't know whether we shall achieve it, but I'm determined to do whatever I can do to ensure that we achieve this target and even exceed it. And I, I believe this way we shall create a good, uh, a good environment for my generation and for many generations to come. This world has been destroyed by us. And uh, what we, shall we tell our children if we don't do something about uh, the, the problems we've created? So I'm determined to ensure that uh, we solve our problems and uh, we create a better future for our children. And uh, we also need to sensitize our people. Uh, in Africa, you will be surprised at the level of ignorance. Recently, we had a landslide in Uganda. And uh, we went in immediately after the landslide and asked people whether they knew uh, some of the causes of this landslide. And many people were telling us that they think these la uh, landslides are happening because the gods are not happy. And many of them were planning to go and make uh, animal sacrifices. Some of them had even already made animal sacrifices. But even a child could see that deforestation was the cause of these landslides. Now, trees have roots that go inside the soil and uh, uh, hold the soil together. When the trees are cut down, uh, these uh, roots rot, and uh, the soil dries and becomes very weak. When it rains, the mud comes and takes away the soil. And this is what had happened in Uganda. But people were very ignorant. They couldn't make a quick connection. So we want to also sensitize people around the world and encourage them to save their forests and show them the connection between the calamities that are happening. The United States is going through a drought right now. And this is part of the bigger problem, the bigger climate change problem. And all of us need to wake up and find a solution to this problem. I am determined to play my part. I hope you will join me. And together, we shall create a good world. Thank you.